it's quite an honor to be uh, to be carrying. To, it's I feel like it's something that I'm carrying, and it's not just me carrying the title. It has to do with my my family, my people, this country, all all of the poets, all of people. Poetry belongs to everyone. It doesn't just belong sitting on a shelf in a university, but poetry is June Jordan, you know, it, you know, it, with her poetry for the people. I think about what happens, you know, what I will take with me when I leave this world, and it's poetry. We'll take certainly our actions and how we are, but we often go, it's the poetry that we'll, we can carry that with us. When we, we can carry it with us when we walk around. At, at those moments that are the most terrifying, empowering, grief-filled, joy-filled, they are always accompanied by poetry. It would depend on who that person was, <laughs> you know. It would depend. If I had time, I would find a poem that I would know that would either challenge, you know, or resonate or ch change. There's always a poem out there that can change your life. It's never just about me. We all have poetry ancestors. We have... Um, so when I write a poem, you could look at any poem and say, okay, this, was, this poem wouldn't be here if it weren't for, say, Whitman or uh, Dickinson or for uh, Muskogee, the Muskogee Stomp Dance music and, and a song by so-and-so. And so I feel like I'm, I'm here to, um, there's, there's not just me sitting here. There's, um, there's all the poets, ultimately all the poets, past, present, and future. I mean, there is, it goes way, way back. I have always said if we, if we could really do like kind of a DNA of poetry, we'd find it all connected. And then with poetry, of course, you would go back to the, the origin story of probably almost, almost every school of poetry. We would wind up back with dance and music accompanying it because poetry ultimately, you know, Nobody likes to be alone, even poetry. 